This is the path of the Karatika. To become better today than yesterday and better tomorrow than today. Working in this manner day by day all your life. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. When did you take your first steps in your dojo? When was the moment you fell in love with karate? Those of you that are as passionate about karate as I am, those of you who are even more passionate about it, you know what I'm talking about when I say karate is a lifelong pursuit. Incidentally, this is exactly what Funakoshi's ninth precept is all about. Out of everything karate has ever given me and continues to give me, the longevity of it rather the potential for lifelong learning, has to be my absolute favorite quality. According to Funakoshi, you can spend your entire life learning about karate. There is no limit and there will always be something new to learn. Realizing karate offers limitless learning directly transforms any grandmaster into an absolute beginner. This is related to what is called the Shoshin or beginner's mindset. You can learn karate for different reasons, for physical fitness, for self-defense, or simply for being part of a community. But for those who love karate and the many things it has to offer, training in karate is something that will never end no matter how good you get or how wise you become. There is no single point that marks the completion of karate training. There is always a higher level. It truly is a boundless road with no end. Simply having learned all the kata and blocking techniques does not constitute true training unless you continue to polish them. Hagakure describes it like this. In a tale of an aged swordmaster, there are stages to a lifetime of learning. At the lowest level, even though one trains, there are no positive results and one holds oneself and others in low esteem. At this stage, one can be of no service. A bit harsh maybe, but fair enough. Everyone has been a true beginner at something. At this stage, you study for your own benefit. Let's continue. In the middle stage, although one still cannot be of service, one can at least see one's shortcomings and can start to recognize deficiencies in others. I would add someone in the middle stage of uh, training is able to be of service to those who can learn from them. In my opinion, it's possible for a beginner to learn from, from a middle stager. In the upper stage, one comes into one's own, taking pride in accomplishments, rejoicing in praise from others, and also feeling sorry when others fail. One holds others in high esteem. For most people, this is the final stage. This is what happens to many people as soon as the black belt is reached. A sense of completion appears and the upper stager feels empty and starts looking for new things in which to be a beginner again. That's too bad because as many of you know, black belt is only the beginning. When you reach for the next higher step, you encounter a superior way. If you choose to walk this path, you finally come to see that there really is no end. All thoughts of having come far enough vanish and you truly come to know your deficiencies. You live your life out with no desire for worldly success, you feel no need for pride, nor do you feel a need to humble yourself. In essence, this is the path of the Karatika. To become better today than yesterday, and better tomorrow than today. Working in this manner day by day all your life. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day, and as always, Thanks for watching. If you spell Chuck Norris in Scrabble, you win forever.